Oh my god. Oh. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, bro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent, and today we have a really cool Buick Riata that we pulled out of the woods for the first time in 15 years. And this isn't our first time doing a Buick Riata. We did another one that was in very similar condition a while ago. If you guys saw that video, then you know that this one is pretty much in the same condition, except on that one, we weren't able to do much on the exterior, but on this one, we were able to do a ton and make it look spectacular. So you guys don't want to miss that. Make sure you watch all the way through the video. And also we have some surprises like you just saw in the beginning of the video. You don't want to miss those either. But looking over the car, every centimeter of the exterior was covered in either a layer of mold or moss. You guys could tell me down below. I don't know exactly what it is that grows on the exterior of cars that makes it green. But if you know, comment it below. And then moving on to the interior, first of all, there was a massive spider web that unfortunately we had to mess up by getting the seats out. But the front driver's seat had some pretty bad rips in it, but we were able to swap those out in this video and it made for an amazing result afterwards. And overall, this car just needed a complete transformation, which is what we did. So sit back, relax, enjoy. And also make sure you're subscribed to our channel with your notifications on because we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers and give this video a like if you want to see more content like this in the future. Now jumping right into the detail, we obviously don't want to get leaves and stuff all over our shop. So we went ahead and took the vacuum and vacuumed out all the jams like in the engine bay and in the trunk. And while we were vacuuming the trunk, we found a nice little surprise stuck to it. If you know what kind of hive this is, comment below. Moving on to the wheels, we're excited to announce that we're gonna be starting to use mad detailing products in all of our videos because we loved working with Foster. We love his products. He gave us a sample of all of them while he was here. He showed us how they worked and they're honestly fantastic. So if you guys like the stuff that we're using in our videos, I highly recommend you go check them out. And we're gonna have one link for you to click where you can get everything we use in our videos from now on. I know in our past videos for the last two years and pretty much every detailing channel on YouTube, they'll have like a thousand links in their description for every single product. But now we're gonna have one link that you can click and you can see every single product that we're using. It's gonna be really easy. If you guys wanna do that, go check it out in the description below. So for these rims specifically, we used Mad Acid because we've heard the hype behind the product. And after using it, we were pretty impressed. And now a word from our sponsors. All right, guys, I'm sure that you guys know that inflation is eating up the dollar and your money isn't going as far as it used to, especially on things like gas, groceries, and dining out. And that's why we're super excited that the sponsor for this video is Upside. And why we're so excited is a lot of the cars that we have on this channel, they don't run. And the way that we tow them is with a trailer and my truck. And I gotta say, my truck doesn't get great gas mileage. And when the car's on the trailer, it's, it's pretty heavy. So I might only be looking at like 10 to 12 miles per gallon. And that's where Upside can come in handy and help by helping us save on gas. And we're gonna show you how. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is open up the Upside app. I already have been logged in um, and I already implemented our code WDUP, which is going to allow us to get $5 or more cash back on our first purchase of $10 or more. 
so that's already a bonus. What it does is it takes my location uh, based on where I'm currently sitting and it shows me all the gas that is in my area and the prices and shows me what's the most competitive. So right now it's showing me Shell is, uh, is $3.72 and BP is $3.71. I prefer Shell gas personally, so I'm gonna click that gas station. And it says that I'm gonna get 12 cents per gallon cash back plus the $5 bonus using our code WDUP. Uh, gas would normally be $3.84, but with upside, it's gonna be $3.72. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit claim, and we're gonna go ahead and take the trip and, uh, and roll over there. It gives you about four hours to actually go to the gas station and make the purchase. All right, guys, so we're here at the gas station. We already accepted the offer. We then checked in at the gas station, and then it gives you 20 minutes to get your gas and you upload the card information into Upside, the same card that you're gonna use at the gas station, and then you're done. You basically just buy your gas, and then once they can verify that you bought gas at that gas station, they're gonna give you 12 cents back, or in this case, 12 cents back per gallon. And I got about 19 gallons, so I saved $2.30 just by downloading the app Upside. And I'm also gonna get $5 bonus by using the code WDUP. All right guys, you can see how easy it was for us to save money using Upside on gas, and you can also save money on dining out and groceries. So if you guys wanna take advantage of this free money that you could be saving, download the free Upside app and use code WDUP to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. And thank you to Upside for sponsoring this video and putting a little money back in my pocket.
If you guys found that satisfying, don't forget to like the video. But anyways, moving forward, we went under the hood, literally. The first thing that we did before the engine was the underside of the hood, and we got that all clean, and then we moved into the engine. So if you guys wanna clean your engine bay at home, first of all, we would recommend unplugging your battery. And if you guys notice, obviously this is a newer battery in this car. We had to throw a new battery just to get it out of the woods. Otherwise we couldn't move the car or get the seats to move forward and backwards to get them out. But anyways, if you wanna clean your engine bay, all you need to do is get some degreaser and spray it over the engine bay. Don't let it sit for too long because it will damage plastics if you let it dry. But if you take some soft bristle brushes and you agitate it and you spray it away and then dry it as best as you can with some sort of air, then you should have a very nice and clean engine. All right, so now with the car all washed, we're gonna prep it for when we go ahead and polish it later. So the first thing we do is spray Mad Iron Eraser all over it to get all the iron out of the paint. And then we'll go ahead and hit it with the clay bar. That way when it's time to actually polish up the paint, it's gonna be way easier and free of contaminants. And if you're at home and you're wondering if you should use Iron Decon on your own car, go ahead and take a look at it. If it's white or any color and you can see little specks of yellow all over it, especially near the fenders or on the rear, mostly on the lower part of the car. That means there's iron in your clear coat or in your paint, and that's the best time to use it because it will take it out. And hopping straight into the interior, the first thing we did was take the seats out and I wanna show you guys a comparison of the old, crusty, worn out seats compared to what we get to replace them with after we clean them. We were so excited about this and it made the end result so much better. Oh my God.
Honestly, if your car's dirty at home, don't underestimate the power of a good vacuuming. It will make a huge difference right away. And I think we found the culprits of that massive spider web from earlier right here. But let me just tell you, that's not even the most shocking thing we found in this whole detail. Get ready, cause here it comes. Oh my gosh. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, bro. Dude. Wow. This might be the biggest mouse nest I've ever seen in a car. Oh no. Oh no. It smells like when you pee in the tub and forget to turn the water on <laughs> overnight. Well, who's ever done that? Not me. Sure. And here's everything we vacuumed out of the car. This vacuum was completely empty when we started. Gross. Now moving on to one of my favorite parts, the extraction. First of all, we wanna thank Mighty again for sending us the Mighty HC120 extractor. But if you're extracting at home or if you're a professional detailer looking for some tips and tricks, it's really simple. You just don't wanna put any extractor soap inside your extractor. You wanna spray it on the carpet by itself and then agitate it with a drill brush and only use hot water to suck it out. That way when you're done, there's nothing left in the carpet besides cleanliness.
And now for the seats, it's time to swap out the old for the, well, less old. And once the seat was all cleaned, we went ahead and conditioned it to make it soft again and make it shine just like it was supposed to. And for the rest of the interior, we used Mad Interior Cleaner. It has a really nice smell to it and it seems to do a really good job, so we're very impressed.
So for these floor mats specifically, there was some type of dust or sand maybe coming out of them. And when I say that it was like never ending, I'm talking the people who were in this car last must have gone to a baseball field and ran around and then shook off their shoes on top of these things because I spent a good amount of time spraying them out, cleaning them, and it wasn't until the end that they were actually clean, which I don't know. It's just a lot of dust or sand in these for just any regular carpet floor mats. But if you guys have any clue why that would happen, leave a comment below. Now this is super satisfying. What I can tell you guys behind the scenes, RJ spent the better part of two whole days just cutting, polishing, sanding, doing a ton of stuff to the paint of this car to get it looking as good as he could. Now for this car to look perfect, it would have to get a whole new paint job, but for how much time RJ put into this detail and the work he did, I have to say, seeing it for myself in person, this thing turned out amazing. Now to finish up the detail, we went ahead and put on our wax of choice, which is Colonite 845. It lasts for a pretty decent amount of time and it gives your paint a solid layer of protection while also making it shine. And then we went ahead and cleaned the windows, dressed the tires, did the other odds and ends here and there, and this car was good to go. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out and we're gonna keep making these videos for you guys. And with that being said, we'll see you guys next Friday. We're going to be posting on Fridays again instead of Saturdays. All right, enjoy the rest of the video.